Hey guys, so I have arrived to the hood out here in Inglewood. <laughs> Look where I'm at, you guys. I finally found the hood after living in LA for two years. I found my home, you guys. I found the hood. So I'm gonna take you guys with me inside this Lawson Super Mall. Swap meet, they call it. Now, I think they're still open. I think they're close to 7 o'clock. And it's not like this is my first time going to a swap meet. Hold on, let me find a good position because the sun is behind me. So it's not like it's my first time going to a swap meet because, I, of course, I'm from Jacksonville, Florida, and they have plenty of swap meets there. I mean, I won't say plenty, but kind of. They got flea markets. They had the golf fair and the Norwood flea market, but I think they shut both of them down, unfortunately. For you guys who don't know what a swap meet is, it's a place where a lot of ethnic minorities, specifically African Americans, can open up shop and sell like different kinds of merchandise, whether it's clothes. Oh my gosh, the sun is behind me. The lighting should improve when I go inside, you guys. But yeah, it's a place where we can like, you know, set up shop and and make some money and, and, to, and go into business, you know? And the good thing about swap meets is that the rent doesn't cost that much. I know in Jacksonville, Florida, at the golf fair flea market, I think the rent, because I actually was interested in getting a space at a swap meet before when I was living in Jacksonville, Florida, and the rent was like $400, $500. So this is my very first time going in here, you guys. I've never been in here before, so hopefully I can take you guys with me. And hopefully I can record it. So, check it out, you guys. Check out my view. Let's see what this is all about. Because I was riding the bus, and I passed by here, and I was asking the girl on the bus. I was like, so, can you tell me a little bit about the, uh, the swap meet, the uh, sauce and Super Mall? And she was like, yeah, you know, it's a place to have stores inside there. And she was like, they open... So she said they're not open every single day. They open like six out of seven days out of the week. But I looked them up and come to find out, I think they are open every single day and they close at seven. So let's go inside and see what they got, you guys. It's a good little walk from the street, but I'm almost there to the entrance. So hopefully, y'all, I'm gonna see, see how I'm gonna do this. See how, hopefully y'all let me record, you guys. They wouldn't know anyway. I'm on FaceTime. You guys are my FaceTime people, right? FaceTime. <laughs> Okay, so flip the camera this way. Let's see what they got. Look like a good little crowd out here. Nice little crowd. Hopefully they got some AC up in here. And you know what? I noticed that a lot of swap meets are owned by Asians too. Okay, what they got going on. Hopefully you don't have to pay a fee. I know sometimes they be like, oh, you just got to pay a dollar to go inside. But I think I'm good on that. Okay. So, yeah. Let's just like see what it's about, you guys. Let's see. Let's see. First thing you walk in, we see shoes. Interesting. Ah. Interesting. Clothes. I was told that they have a lot of clothes inside here. Hmm. Now, this is interesting because this swap meet, it looks like it's fully occupied by renters, by vendors, because I know in, in Florida, the one I used to go to in Florida, they had empty booths there. It's quite interesting. Hmm. Oh, look. They got something a little bit for everybody. Now, this reminds me back of in the days when I used to braid hair, you guys. $3.49 a pack. Check that out. Okay, they got the, the fans going. Now, that's interesting. Look at that. That's pretty interesting. That outfit. It looks like club out Club clothes. Okay, then. socks now i think it's too warm for socks and it's funny because a lot of people in los angeles are complaining like how 
cold it is. I'm like, y'all, this is not cold. It's a little cool, like at night, the temperature drops, but it feel good to me. I'm like, I'm, I actually want it to snow. Let's see what else they have. They got the office, personal service office prayer. Okay, then. I have a lot of clothes in here. You guys, tell me where you're watching from and if you have a swap meet in your city. Now, I know, I guess on the East Coast they call it a flea market, but I hear they call them swap meets. I don't get shy on me. Y'all be shy. I'm going to have to pick up me some food on my way out. Don't be getting shy on me. Oh, look, they have something for the kids. How cool is that? Hmm. What is this thing here? <laughs> ah. <laughs> what does it say? Donk, Drake, and Drive. Interesting. How did Drake make that? Okay, then. Cow Basketball Banquet, 1997. Throwback. Dang, 1993, guys. Look at that. Pretty diverse. Hmm. Okay, got some luggage. Okay. Interesting, because I know the one in Jacksonville, Florida, the Nowhere Flea Market, I believe, I'm pretty sure it's closed down by now, but maybe they reopened it since I left. But I know they used to sell, they used to have people that sell, like, bootleg DVDs there. This caught my eye. Cool. Just in time for Christmas. Okay, then. A whole bunch of toys. And this is a discount mall, so I'm sure it's at discount prices. Hmm. That's the thing. Like I was saying, hello. That's what I was saying, like um, the bootleg DVDs, and they are illegal. Now check this out. So most people, I guess, who sell them ain't gonna be like out in the front selling them. They're gonna be doing that undercover, like under the table. Nicki Minaj. Okay, then. Uh, oh, I need to up my collection of African art. Look It's a necklace? This row, see what they have down here. Where are we gonna wear this at? A Halloween? I can would imagine so. Like to the club? On a hot date, maybe? Feminist, hmm. Okay, check it out. Well, I'm sweating. I'm sweating sugar. <laughs> Interesting how they put the shoes. Plastic. I guess they just keep it from getting dusty. Let's 
see what they have. Like I entered in the halfway side, so I'm on like the right side of the mall. Okay, they got a nail shop. A market. And then I'm gonna go take you guys with me on the left side after I finish window shopping. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what they have down there as well. They need more like African art places here. I don't see much African stuff here. Oh, that breeze feels so good. Oh, yes. Yeah, a good number of these places here are owned by Asians. A few black owned vendors in here. But for the most part, it looks like it's owned by Asians. Look at these bright, flashy shoes. Hey. Crazy, cause y'all, y'all don't know how long it's been. Like I'm asking people, where is the hood? And people think like I'm speaking a foreign language. I guess because the black community here in LA is so spread out, and they have a barber shop. Autumn cuts. But yeah, it's like the black community in LA is so spread out that people think I'm speaking a foreign language. What's in there? I'm curious. I have a black belt. Oh, it's an office. But um. Oh, look at me, guys. Hi. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I forgot to show you guys my shirts. So I'm rocking this melanin shirt. As you guys can see, I got it from D.C. at Howard's Homecoming. Dripping melanin. I wore it to school one day. My professor was like, what does your shirt say? I was like, dripping melanin. He didn't get it. But he's supposedly african-american i'm like you don't know what melon it is dude come on come on man you'll be surprised how many people i could they don't be knowing stuff I'm like it's just a shirt that basically hi it's just a shirt that basically um celebrates being black black and proud it's like saying black and proud but Full of melanin. So full of it, I'm dripping it. Oh, I know they had to have one of these, y'all. Look, they got it. The gold. I always said I was going to get goals. I used to have braces, and I always said I was going to get some goals after I get my braces taken off, but I never did that. I never followed through. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the other side of the mall. This is the right side. It's kind of empty. Yeah, maybe because they're getting ready to close. Maybe because it's a weekday. Because it is Tuesday, so I might have to come back on like the weekend to see how it is. It's popping. Is it popping? Got the coats out. Okay, this is a restaurant. Mm. A lot of places in LA remind me of New York. And they got the same flavor, same style. Some snacks. All right, let's see what's on this side. I ain't had some popcorn. Hmm, that's good. I don't know what I'm gonna eat for dinner. I had to come out here. I passed out here the other day. You guys know I work out here in Inglewood, so I'm like, oh yeah. I had to come back, you know, and check this place out because I passed out here when I was on the bus. And I'm 
like, oh shoot, they have a swap meet. Oh shoot. Oh, look at that. They even have a house store. Okay. Herbal health shop. Now, you know, I'm surprised that you see they don't have a marijuana dispensary. Okay, they have a t shirt place. Oh, I like that. Okay, that's your girl. I forget her name. Let me get her mixed up with Nicki Minaj. Okay, then. Okay. Oh, natural soaps. Oh, yeah? Did you make it? Yeah. Oh, it smells good. This looks it like. Has no pork fat taste mm. Okay, how much are they? We have a special one for 15 or 30 for 30. Okay. You get a snap and cigar and open the bar for $20. Okay, and you take debit? Um, cash app. Cash. Uh, okay. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's another thing, you guys. A lot of places don't take debit. So you have to pay with cash. You have to pay with cash, unfortunately. And you know what? The girl don't carry cash like that. I don't. I don't. My money is all secure in my bank, you know? So any kind of illegal transactions will be accounted for. You know that. But interesting. So they have video games. Video game store. I'm gonna go this way. Cause I think I came from that way. So let's see. We we'll just circle around and come back. More hair. When I see packs like this, it makes me want to start back braiding hair. But I'm like, okay, I know when I start back braiding hair, I'm gonna build a clientele, and then people are gonna be mad because I'm gonna tell them, you know what? I don't, I'm booked or I'm busy. That's the main thing. Like, my schedule is pretty packed. I don't really have, quote unquote, free time. Look at this, y'all. Ooh, I like this. And I said I want to get my, um, I want to let my hair grow into like the free form, the thicker locks. As you guys can see, my locks are like medium size. Like medium size locks. But, oh, I like the thickness of that. Damn. Okay. Let's see. It's a decent size long. Okay. I like it. You know what? I didn't see, though. I don't. I just. I didn't notice a, a tattoo studio. That kind of looks like one, but I don't think so. Yeah, the one back home, they actually had a tattoo studio. They did piercings and a whole shebang. But I didn't notice a tattoo place here. Get high and carry on. This is what an awesome dad looks like. I like. Nice. I'm going to come back and get me a t-shirt made. Or some t-shirts made anyway. Wake up drunk. Go to sleep. Fuck <laughs> What are... What? What are those? Okay. I don't really get... That means. Oh, look at that purse. That's cool. I actually got a purse similar to that one. I'm pointing at. Still do have it, actually. I just don't wear it. I'm not really much of a. Yeah, I think I already had this area already. Yeah, but I'm not really much of a purse person. I mean, I'm wearing a book bag now that I paid like $25 for, but I don't really too much 
very, very, uh, very. I don't see much where person is like that. And it's funny because when I do get decked out and dressed up, people are like, oh shit, oh shit. They can't recognize me. Like, dang. I'm like, I'm fine anyway. Whether like, I'm dressed up or not, you know? It's fine. But they got hair galore, y'all. This is like hair galore up in here. I really like those locks. They call them gypsy locks. Damn. 86 inches. That shit is long as hell. The Kanaka line. Okay, then. That's some pretty long ass hair. Alright. Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to get any food from here, but I think that pretty much wraps it up. But check out these shirts. California. Hey. hey, they have a lot of clothing stores and jewelry. Sometimes it's questionable whether or not it's just like real jewelry, but let me. Onyx? What is, no, what is that? Onyx? Milano? I mean, it looks legit. Geneva? It looks like it, but. Oh, look, they already have like the pre made goals. That goes. What's up, guys? Hmm, let's see. Yeah, I think that pretty much sums it up. And they have restrooms in here. You need restrooms, but. Yeah, you guys, that pretty much sums it up. That was a pretty quick tour, huh? Let's see how long it took. Let's see. Oh, wait, come on. All right. 22 minutes. Wow. Record breaking. All right. I'm going to go ahead and end this video, you guys, because I'm just going to, I may buy something to see. I don't know. I like to just support places like this, but I don't know. They may not even take cash, so who knows? And look, you guys, they even have a massage chair. <laughs> just relax. I do need a massage, though, because your girl been hustling. And busy but hey you guys this is the perfect time in this video i will catch you guys in the next video i'm actually gonna do a video on inglewood versus hollywood so i work out here in inglewood it's a little bit different well not even a little bit it's a lot different than hollywood but we'll catch you guys in the next one toodles <laughs>